Yeah, I'm Lexi Strauss, and um, this is my, my work. It's called A Thousand Foundlings Find Their Mothers. Okay, wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about the work and the ideas behind it? Yeah, um, I'm a painter um, with a performance background, and um, what underlies all of that is the fact that I'm also a storyteller, I think. Um, I work in a way that um, narratives come out of bundles of paintings that I do. I, I, I just paint and paint and paint, and then suddenly um, a kind of narrative emerges which might have nothing obvious to do with any of the paintings but it's something um, it's, it's generally quite surreal um, and so the paintings and, and the narrative and, and music that I, I, I find I'm resonating with at the time become like Lego bricks in a, a, um, a new structure um, and that's what this this is this this installation. It's a sort of structural um, piece of the, it's a theatre um, event, I suppose, um, which allows me to direct, um, perform, and um, and and use my um, actual paintings as well. Um, and this is the lullaby um, that I worked with for this piece. And I'm the main voice in it. It's actually being sung by a baby. Um, the baby um, is singing to its mother. <laughs> and the big, the big question that um, that continues to sort of haunt me, I suppose, um, that I'm always asking myself is um, how in in our society, how, how can anybody uh, educate, be expected to educate? Um, or parent adequately when they themselves haven't had adequate parenting or education. Um, the lullaby is actually a lullaby that I sang to my son when he was a baby and it was something that, that really moved me. I didn't understand it. The, um, the language is Ladino, it's a Sephardic Jewish lullaby which I heard by chance on a CD and um, I didn't know anything about it, I didn't know what the words meant, but when I translated it for this project, I found out that it was this Jewish Sephardic um, folk uh, lullaby, and the, and the words were really um, kind of, they had a bit of a bitter twist. Um, the fact that I'd been singing it without knowing it was very uh, symbolic, I think. But the, the lullaby sort of means, you know, you'll go to, you know, sleep well, little baby. You're going to go to school. You're going to learn your ABC. You're going to go to market. You're going to make lots of money, and then you're going to educate yourself, and you're going to be the best. <laughs> and that's that's what it means. So my background is um, uh, my my paternal grandparents were Holocaust survivors. So there's quite a lot of Nazi um, and Holocaust image peppered in this, which I, I found very difficult material to work with, but sort of felt compelled to work with. And there's a lot of humour, and it's rather difficult humour as well. But the idea of the thousand foundlings who find their mothers is that that it's an imaginary political party, which, um, or, or movement rather, that um, never took off because the House um, decided that the idea w had no substance to it, or there was no um, proof or evidence of the fact that um, their belief was that um, they, they, would took, they took laughter as their mother. And that's, and that's the really key thing in this work. So it's, I suppose it's my, my search, my, my, um, my drive to find some lightness in all of this. Um, and the foundling wheels um, on either side here are, um, th this one is a, an Italian foundling wheel from 
I think from the 17th or 18th century. They used to be, they, they originally were put in cathedrals and convents and they were, um, obviously they were where you put your baby if you can't look after it and they were outlawed about 100 years ago but they've started to re-emerge in Europe and in Asia and this one is a modern one, it's a baby clap and you find them in Germany quite a lot but um, it, it's a, a particularly shocking looking um, thing um, because of the efficiency um, of the instructions on it and, and, and such but they're very um, they're very interesting objects to to kind of meditate on I think um, and the painting at the back here it's um, I I did, I, you know, I've got an ongoing series of paintings which are empty chairs and um, the empty chairs um, and the absence of people uh, suggest various narratives and, and this one is um, very modern institutional chairs in a, in a very old institutional empty sort of environment. So it's sort of putting the two in context. But the moving um, images that I project on are really, I suppose, my response to these other paintings here. In my installation, one of the images is of um, Kate Bush and, and the philosopher Heidegger on a carousel ride. And Heidegger's um, sort of saying, when are we going to get there? And he's very little, and Kate Bush is on the back of the horse, and she's just laughing and kind of enjoying herself, really. And I think that those two um, are archetypes that I really um, resonate. You know, I can I can I can see those within myself, two aspects of me um, as a creator, a creative person, and as a parent. And it's finding a kind of balance between those two things um, that I think is, which I see as very relevant to the way society runs as a whole, really.